scheduled all across the tri-state tonight. Let's scheduled all across the tri-state tonight. Let's get right over to meteorologist Reagan Medji in for Lee. Hi. Hi there. Yeah, you know, it depends on really where you're at. I just got a call from one of my girlfriends and she's panicking in Montclair saying it doesn't look good, but you know what? it will likely pass very quickly if anything so right now it is just that sultry sticky look in the city 84 degrees that heat index it makes it feel more like it's almost 90 right now dew point feels more tropical satellite and radar here's our picture yes it does look a little bit funny near the montclair area even into new york but stick with me on this because what we're really seeing are some f storms firing up along the I-84 corridor going through Pike County in Pennsylvania, in through the lower Hudson Valley and even in Sussex, New Jersey. But then they're quick movers, as you see, fires up and then it moves right through. So as we look for those temperatures and it's primed for the instability in the atmosphere to start firing up in the afternoon, this is what we anticipated. We're in the upper 80s really around town near 90 in Tom's River. Now we go to the future cast at 6 o'clock tonight, you can see that there's a bit of a sell over Central Park. Again, a quick mover. It's not sticking around. It's not moving in for the weekend or for the holiday today. Same thing over in Somerville and Morristown as well. Then we get to 815 tonight. Remember, the fireworks aren't just yet, but we might have another cool off period is what these spotty thunderstorms will do, even in Monmouth and Ocean Counties in New Jersey. And then again, by the firework time, we're good to go, even into 6 a.m. tomorrow. The next 12 hours, you see there is that potential for those storms. And when the skies start lighting up, it will feel like 80 degrees outside thunderstorms and spots partly cloudy skies but those fireworks are gonna happen guys back over to you that is great to hear okay Reagan thank you well after more than 10 years the Macy's 4th of July fireworks show will return to the Hudson River tonight so if you're trying to find out where and when to go listen up yeah the show begins at 925 with thousands of fireworks launching from five barges between 14th and 34th Street and there are five designated viewing areas with public entry points along Manhattan's west side. Roads are already closed and traffic will likely be a nightmare. No surprise there. So the smart thing to do, take mass transit. Eyewitness News reporter Lauren Glassberg already staking out a great spot in Chelsea this afternoon. So what can we expect tonight, Lauren? Yeah, Mike, I have a prime spot right here on the river. You could expect something spectacular. I mean, it always is. And I'm keeping an eye out right now for those five barges, which should be making their way up river in the next 90 minutes or so. And then they'll be anchoring. One will be anchoring right behind me. And I suggest if you want to come out and see the fireworks, you should anchor right here as well. I live in Chelsea, so this is really exciting that the fireworks are back on the west side. Alyssa Kaiser is in a celebratory spirit. Clearly, so is her dog Hudson. We're doing a little pre-tour of the show, letting him check out Barry. <laughs> which will fill with thousands of spectators. They'll be ooing and eyeing as 60,000 shells launch over the Hudson. The Hudson River gives us an opportunity to go as big as we've ever gone before. Ten-inch shells, a thousand feet in the air. It's going to be a celebration. We're bringing drones back again and might have a couple of additional surprises that uh, you'll see right before our pyrotechnics go off. Meanwhile, police are not just on the streets, they're on the water and surveilling the air using drones to ensure everyone's safety. I'm just following the crowd. But most people aren't thinking about safety, they're thinking about celebrating and securing a good spot with a view. This is the first time with my family to see that fireworks, so we are going to we expect something spectacular. And some lucky folks have invites to rooftops. Where are you watching them tonight? Uh, Midtown, in one of uh, our friends' roof. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty nice. So you know you're gonna get a nice view of the sky from a rooftop. You didn't want to come down where all the crowds are? Not really. Everything away from the crowd is better. <laughs> no one in your way? No one in my way, yeah. I can see everything. Well, if you don't have a rooftop invite, you can still come down to the Hudson River. But I recommend that you take mass transit and you walk here because the West Side Highway is essentially shut down all through Chelsea and the West Village. I encourage you to bring some water. It is very muggy out here. And also bring a healthy dose of patriotism to enjoy the show. Live in Chelsea, Lauren Glassberg, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. I'm sure people will be packing plenty of that. Okay, Lauren, thank you. Well,